we don't usually spend a lot of time together as a family, you know, day to day life, teenager out doing his own thing. Um, so it was just lovely for the four of us to have some time together, to spend quality time together when we had just been through such a horrendous few months. I actually was sort of between chemo treatments when we went up for our holiday in Scotland, so I was feeling well at the time and just enjoyed having t family time just without any distractions of housework, gardening, the usual things that take over when, when you spend a holiday at home. Um, I had originally been referred to a neurologist, but not as an emergency because it didn't look as if it was an emergency. I then saw a neurologist a couple of days after seeing the optician and had an MRI scan which showed that um, I had a brain tumour, five centimetre brain tumour. I was a practice nurse and handed my notice in when I became poorly and there was some question as to whether I was going to be able to cash my pension in. Um, so my GP sort of took up my case, if you like, and the chap that he spoke to, who I think was someone from one of the nursing unions, actually told him about the what was called Nurse Aid then, the Cavill Nurses Trust. So he initiated it basically and told me about the website uh, and then I applied for a grant myself um, because at that time money was a little bit on the difficult side and obviously I wasn't getting any benefits or anything at that time. So he initiated it basically. I had never heard of it before. Well, at a time like that, your, your head is just all over the place. And I think just to get support from any area, whether it be emotional, physical, financial, is, is, is a big help. Well, as I say, I had never heard of the Cavill Nurse, Nurses Trust before I had, you know, any contact with you. Uh, but I think I was so grateful for the support and the financial help that I received. Um, it made me want to shout about it a bit more because it's something that I hadn't heard of and I don't think most nurses have actually heard of. That's why I decided to become an ambassador and I now donate uh, a small amount each month because I'd like to think that if there are other nurses in the same situation as me, that there's still funds there to, to help them as much as they've helped me. I think I was just really grateful and felt quite supported because, you know, you work for years as a nurse and you don't feel as if you, you get much back. And to think there's an organisation out there that is specifically for nurses, um, I, I thought it was fantastic. 